From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex, and I'm here in studio with Anthony Gucciardi. We've been talking about the big public events that have been happening this last week. We had CPAC that's just finished, a lot of political news coming out of that, as well as what's going on here in Austin, South by Southwest. And the way they're using that, we've just been talking about how they use that to control the public, to essentially manufacture consent and of course an important part anthony of manufacturing consent is to make sure that what they're telling us is really working and so they have to surveil everything that we do now one of the people that was at south by southwest we've been talking a lot about the the gun control groups that were meeting there that really didn't have anybody show up to their presentation even though there's three gun control groups they couldn't fill up three rows of people even with the press there but we did have Julian Assange uh, speaking via Skype there, and he had an interesting comment about privacy. What he said here is, what's going on is an unprecedented theft of wealth from the majority of the population by those who already have a lot of power. And they're doing this in part by stealing information from all of us. Knowledge is power, and they're accumulating a lot of power. When I look at the way that they're trying to manipulate us through social media, and that was what this meeting at South by Southwest on gun control was about. It was about manipulating the public through social media by making sure that people can't say or put anything up about guns on Facebook at the same time that they're going to use it to put their side of the story out. It's a massive transfer of power. They're trying to control people, and they also want to see if people are buying their message. That's really what all this metadata is about, isn't it? Their actions signify a message of victory and success because we see them scurrying, freaking out, teaming up with Facebook to censor everyone posting mm -hmm. pictures of themselves with weapons. By the way, I did that today, great response. Everyone needs to fight back against Facebook who's saying you're not allowed to post pictures of firearms, even if you're a gun shop, you're not allowed to do anything with firearms because they've teamed up with these moms against guns and everything. You're not allowed to do that anymore. I've started doing it. I'm going to keep doing it. Everyone needs to do that to fight back. It's the Streisand effect. When someone mm -hmm. actually tries to censor someone, it ultimately becomes larger. So ultimately, what's come now is South by Southwest, the owner, as Alex was talking about earlier in the show, in the very beginning, has tried to come down on legal firearm owners mm -hmm. by setting up all these events, these anti-gun events, and it's fallen flat on its face. And one of the groups that was there was Bloomberg's Mayors Against Illegal Guns, which a lot of mayors have blown the whistle on as well. But of course, he was there at the South by Southwest event, and he is the one who is working with Facebook to try to make sure that they censor any information about guns. Yeah, it's just not going to work. It's going to go the same direction that Piers Morgan went. That's when exactly they tried to shove things say. down everybody's throat, what happened to them? If Facebook tries to do this, you're going to see Facebook plummet as a platform. Yep, exactly right. And they're not going to be able to contain all the people posting pictures of web, uh, you know, guns, legal firearms, and all the reality and statistics. In fact, instead of just posting ourselves with guns, which we should do, and I've already begun doing, we should start posting the statistics over and over and over and over again so people see the statistics because that's what mm -hmm. they're ultimately afraid of. Mm -hmm. They don't want to talk about logic or reason or statistics as I talked about earlier. They want to censor everyone and make everyone afraid of assault weapons because they're scary looking. But it reminds me now, they're losing and they know they're losing. We're going to get into how the scientists now admit that Fukushima has already hit the West Coast and it's already coming in waves. We told you that 2011, 2012, we were told, called crazy. And Obama, we're going to play the clip of Obama saying that that would never happen. But specifically, you were telling me at CPAC, a journalist was detained for just trying to get a book signed. And that, it, yeah. it, it should, go, tell us. Yeah, this is Dan Dix from Press for Truth. And he was in line. He had a book that was written by Newt Gingrich, and he wanted to get Newt Gingrich to sign his book, and he was going to get a quick question in to Newt Gingrich because, of course, if you're an alternative journalist, you're not going to get an audience with his majesty. That's the way they control the press is through access. But they had to screen him beforehand. Well, the interesting thing is, is that as he's waiting to get in, they pulled him out of line, out of a large crowd of people. And I've got a big question about that I want to talk about when we come back. Why did they pull him out of this big crowd of people? Now, he's been talking about things they would know who he is, but he is not that famous that they would recognize him. So what's going on with that? We're going to talk about that right after we come back. Stay tuned. 
Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. Mypatriotsupply.com slash Alex. KMLN Los Angeles Clone Radio. We play the songs that sound more like everyone else than anyone else. Clone. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel okay. Castro took the guns. Hugo Chavez took the guns. 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. The Republic will rise again when you attempt to take our guns. I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. The answer to 1984 is 1776. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Welcome back to The Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight here in studio, live with Anthony Gucciardi. And we were just talking before the break, Anthony, about what happened at CPAC, this journalist that got pulled out. But I want to read this from the Gridiron Dinner last night. This is a quote from John Kerry. Now, of course, this is, these are politicians kind of making fun of themselves, okay, and, and putting things out that... Uh, not necessarily making fun of each other, but making fun of themselves. Listen to this comment, though, from John Kerry. He says, it's so nice to put faces to the metadata. Now, people laughed. I'm sorry, but if I was there, I couldn't laugh about that. We'll know that we're getting somewhere when people are no longer able to laugh about that kind of surveillance. They simply get angry. Maybe they groan or maybe they hiss or whatever. But they should not be laughing about that. And here's the example that we were talking about just before the break. At CPAC, we had a journalist, Dan Dix, Press for Truth, a small alternative media. He's, he's known, but he's not known like he would be recognized like somebody that's on Fox News, for example, by face. He is in a very long line of people to get in a book signing with Newt Gingrich so he can get face to face and ask him a question. Because, of course, Newt Gingrich isn't going to give him an interview. Okay, because that's the way they use access to control the media. They control the mainstream media through access. So he's in the line. He's quite a bit further back, and they have all of a sudden a bunch of security officers descend on him and say, we think you're a threat. We want to see what you're carrying. Make him empty all of his pockets. They see that he has no threat, and then they escort him out of the of the of CPAC and will not say anything to him, just, just take him out of there. Now, my question when I look at this is, how did they recognize Dan in that sea of people? Did they look at everybody that had bought a CPAC ticket? And go down and say, ah, here's a journalist. Here's a journalist that's going to ask us questions that we might not be familiar with. Let's keep an eye on him. Do they have facial recognition? You know, what's this metadata that they're putting faces to, as John Kerry says? Well, I think there's no question they're screening people. Yeah. And it comes down to the fact that they've lost the information battle. And they can no longer stand the assault of reality that's coming to them when journalists they go just up want and to censor it. They exactly. just want to censor it. So yeah. that's when you know we've really won. And it also, at the same time, though, gets really scary because it means they're willing to do anything mm -hmm. in, in in case of defending their empire. So when they cannot even argue anymore, they you know they don't even want to have interviews. They don't even want to talk to anyone. They don't even want to put up with it. They just have you arrested now immediately if you try to even go up to someone. Isn't it camera. interesting that Newt Gingrich is supposedly one of the most articulate people in the Republican Party, he doesn't feel like he can take on an alternative journalist. He's got to have him thrown out of the event. And, you know, 
It might not even be specifically him. It might be yeah. the event people going and Who saying, knows? oh, an alternative journalist. Yes. Wow, we need to get rid of him. Yeah. You know, it might be the CPAC employees going around. Because just like this TSA, you know, it's it's the TSA agents sometimes themselves that are on these immense power trips mm -hmm. that are completely absurd and insane and molesting people. Still, somehow they people. had to know who he was. They had to be able to recognize his face or had to single him out in some way out of the crowd. That's what I find troubling. I want to take your calls on CPAC and some of these other issues, South by Southwest, that we're talking about. Let me give you the number for Sunday. It's 877-789-ALEX. That's 877-789-2539. If you want to call in and weigh in on what you think happened with CPAC this last week. Now, of course, they had a poll at the end, and Rand Paul won that pretty handily. And the number two was uh, Ted Cruz, but it was a well, little bit closer on yeah. Drudge, wasn't it? Well, I'm more interested in the Drudge poll. That's what yeah. I was just going to say. Yeah. And if we have that on screen, it, it, when I checked it just shortly ago, Rand Paul was dominating. Mm -hmm. Ted Cruz was close behind. Mm -hmm. But overall, it seems like the whole pulse of the you know, real conservative nation right now is Ted Cruz and Rand Paul. Yes, they were neck and neck at about 30% last I saw it. Everybody else was about uh, 4 or 5 6%. Well, think, about, think about what that signifies, though. It's not Newt Gingrich. It's not Jeb Bush. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not Rick Perry. It's Rand Paul and Ted Cruz. You think about that in 2014, we're at a point now, they would be considered, they are considered alternative conspiracy theorists by many people. And here they are, you know, dominating these polls with hundreds of thousands of people voting. I mean, the Drudge poll is more legitimate than the CPAC. Yes. Can you imagine Jeb Bush saying we need to abolish the IRS? No matter how corrupt they are, no matter how they are using the, the IRS against political enemies, and continue to do it after it's exposed. That's the most amazing thing. I believe all presidents have been doing this with the IRS. And of course, they're controlling all of our behavior through the income tax code, right? But when they get caught doing this, instead of being impeached, they just continue to do it. And the IRS commissioner takes the fifth twice, even though we can't take the fifth on anything with the IRS uh, tax forms. It's an outrage, but the only ones to speak to these types of things are Ted Cruz and Rand Paul. That's why you see them leading in the opinion polls on Drudge, where it really matters. What does that signify to you? I think we're, like you said, I think we're winning. And I think they're really getting desperate. And I think the old school Republican leadership, the old country club leadership, that's represented by people like Jeb Bush and by Newt Gringerch, I think they're very much afraid of this. You've got McCain, who's out there saying that... Uh, that Ted Cruz needs to apologize that he, he crossed the line because what, what Ted Cruz said was that McCain and Dole and these other guys, they're all good men, he said. They're decent men, but they don't stand and draw a clear distinction. They don't stand for principle. And so Democrats celebrate that. That's what he's saying. They don't well, stand for anything except the same, same things that the Democrats stand for, which is greater government control of your life. Well, you know, I've never been left or right. And, and this has always been the case. We all know about the left-right paradigm mm -hmm. and everything, how it's, you know, many of the same sides. But it really does seem like the conservative Republican movement is going on the right side with this. They're all culminating together to the right principles and standing behind Rand Paul and Ted Cruz, who aren't perfect, as no one That's is. That's right. That's right. But it really does seem to be a quantum phase shift to the conservative movement going ahead and the left, I mean, it's not even really called the conservative movement anymore to me. It's almost like the third party of reality is bolstering. And it seems like Drudge is just so on target with everything that it's, you know, all third party reality. And that many of the conservatives now realize that people like Jeb Bush and uh, all of those other losers are not real conservatives. That's and right. from the beginning, real conservatism has, has been what is now considered, you know, truth, alternative news, just all of the things that we stand for. And same with the left, the real left people would stand for this too. So it's it's almost like you see the de Democratic Party degenerating at such a fast pace as you see the right kind of phase shifting, realizing that all the viewers, all the attention, all the everything is on this new reality third party. I think people are starting to understand that you have to have freedom in all these different areas. It makes a difference if you have privacy. It makes a difference if you can defend yourself. It makes a difference if you don't get the government involved in every war. And yet we see that's the same stuff that McCain is still offering people. I mean, at the very least, it's maybe like some of these real conservatives don't want to destroy the country. They just want to have crony capitalism or something and make a lot of money and, <laughs> and you know, allow people to have some guns. But the left, it seems like they literally just want to destroy the cities, just want yes. to completely have crime go rampant. 
They just want to have mass abortions and they just want to just completely destroy everything until yeah. it degrades to zero. And I am definitely not.